Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our Next.js project series. So, so far we have achieved so much. We have created this project and we can create an account. We can do the authentication. We have protected our routes, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to add some fixes in this project in this video, right? So let's say, let me show you what is the problem right now. So if you go and uh, add, uh, you try to uh, use an email address and then password, and let's hit the sign in button and nothing is happening right it's taking a couple of seconds it's actually trying to connect with the database and your mongoose is getting used as a middleware and here you've got an error mongoose uh, error operation uh, users find one buffering time dot so why it is happening it's happening because we haven't used uh, database connection in our authorized function right so last time it worked because there was a connection exist, right? There was already a connection and that's why it worked. But if you go and check your uh, authorize uh, next auth, so this is the file auth next auth. And here we have, we are using this model user find one, but we need to make sure we have a connection, right? We say db connect and here we'll say await db connect and import this function. Okay, save. Now let's hit the sign in again and this time yeah this time it worked right so like one second and it worked so actually it takes time to get the fetch the data from the database right so we can add some loader and uh, we can make the user experience better right also we want to fix something right now we are a logged in user right and user should not visit sign up and sign in uh, login page right but what if someone try to visit sign up page then he she is going to see the sign up form and after that, he's going uh, back to the home page because he is a logged in user. He's an authenticated user, right? Let me show you again. Sign up and yeah, so flash off that form and then back to the home page. We have to fix this because this is not a good user experience. So we can fix this in two different ways, right? So what we can do, we can go to this sign up component, right? This is our component. Here we can use a server a server method to fetch the data to fetch the like user is authenticated or not. We can use a method uh, export const and get server server side prop and this uh, this has an argument ctx context and this ctx provides you uh, ctx provides a request object and request object provides cookie and key provides token okay so if token exists it means that user is authenticated and we can simply return props from here and we can validate this whole page at once right but as we are doing this in the client side and I don't see any harm rendering this component in the client side right because I don't want my sign up page needs to be uh, like rendered uh, in the server side or this page needs to be SEO friendly or this page needs to be ranked in Google because this is a very important page right I don't think so it's a very important page right my content page my page where actual post lives actual leave news uh, people can see right those pages are very important but sign up pages are like you don't have to rank this page in the google right everyone wants to see your website not the sign up form because if someone likes your website then they are gonna visit it and finally he is he she is is going to uh, sign up right so it's 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 up to you it's your choice if you want to do the server side rendering you can do over here but i don't think so it's a it's a, okay totally fine so here we are user user authenticated and We'll do this uh, if authenticated, then we'll replace this. But it's a bit, it's a taking time, right? When we are in our layout component, right? So everything is going passing through this layout component, and here we have our use effect. And this get session is actually making a request to the API and finding the session of the user, right? And it's taking a little bit of time, right? And that's the reason we are going, we, we can see that uh, form. We are not sure that the user is logged or not. Once the the state is updated with the user data then it immediately navigates back to the home page right how it works so let's try uh, something 
here we have index.js and here we have added something uh, that is authenticating false so initial value right now is false when we are making the request login request right so when we are verifying uh, when we are dispatching this login request in our layout component as you can see before uh, making the session request I'm dispatching an action that's a login request so here we see this is a login request and making this authenticating true so here in this authenticating true we can make we can show some loader instead of the home page right instead of sorry instead of the sign up form right so yes we can use once user is logged in success or failure whatever the case authenticating will be false in both the cases right so let's try this thing out here we go and uh, here are sign up and here we're gonna say if user and user dot authenticating and if that's uh, true then we are gonna say for the moment we'll use this loading uh, text right save this and let's try this thing working or not so we'll try and visit this sign up and yeah I have seen that form again but this time it was little quicker right uh, little fast right but it's still not satisfied user experience is not great enough so here we go and see the console and uh, here so you need to understand why this is happening let's try and see sign up and yeah so we have seen a form then we have seen a loading and then it's back to this home page so let's put a debugger over here and understand why this is actually happening so let's debugger and here you're gonna learn how to debug your code now let's do the sign up again now we are we will be in our sign up page and we'll pause our code right so here it is stopped and here you're gonna see the debugger I have written over here and it's stopped over here and this authenticated if you hover over this code let's resume this I didn't stop too much before so here you can see the user not authenticating that's a false this value is false right so that's the reason it is not going to show the loading right now it goes to the next and then next here authenticated is again false so both are false then it is going to show you this uh, form right form component so let's resume this code and here is the form component now our code is still there and again here you see now the authenticating is true so if I go uh, to the next instruction the next code and now it is going to show a loading right so let's go next and here we are and let's just simply resume it so here the authenticating is true and let's resume so now you can see there is a loading right uh, but before it was false and that's the reason uh, we have seen this form and that's not right right and let's resume it again now here authenticating is false so this loading will be no more visible and here authenticated is true we'll resume it again and then you are in your home component right so the problem we find out right what we can do we can make this authenticating true uh, by default right so that's the reason we have added this and if you go to the index.js file and here we are initializing this authenticating you can give it any other name whatever you think that's right so right now it's just authenticating so I'm simply gonna say true from the beginning right and let's try to run this code say sign up and here we are so our code is stopped here let's resume the script stopped again let's again resume now from the beginning as the authenticating is true and that's the reason we are seeing this loading over here right let's resume the script resume 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 yeah so it's ended a couple of times right and now we are in the home page we haven't seen any flash of uh, sign up form right but we have to test another scenario like if we are logged out then it should work in that case also if you try to visit sign up then it should show the sign up form so here we go and we'll say sign up and working absolutely fine right now what we are gonna do for that loading that's looking very bad terrible right so we are going to use a loader component so we'll create a loader component for that you can find a code snippet over here 
So you just create an account in webscript.info and you can find lots of amazing stuff. So I have saved a post over here. So if you go to the, you can also save for your future use. I have saved over here state management using React Hooks API, React SSS, uh, CSS loader component. So whenever I will be needing this thing, I can use it from here. So React CSS loader component, and this is what I need to add. So I will simply go and copy this stuff and inside the components I will say uh, loader and within loader we will create an index file and here we will paste so this is style and this is processing here we are going to say loader.module.css right and we will create this file loader.module.css we will say loader dot module dot CSS okay and we'll copy this style sheet add below CSS code snippet uh -huh. okay, that's it copy paste over here so let's paste over here and this is already imported over here and here is the style loader and here it is loader right so whatever the color you want just you have to change that color so right now it's black you change over here and here on line number 4 and on line number 11 then your color your loader color will be changed so let's save this and let's go to the sign up form instead of showing this h1 loading i will say actual loader component okay so here here we have our loader component save this and try this so let's try to sign in first and right now I'm using a voice processing software and that's making my system very slow so it's not next is it's my uh, system okay uh, because so much noise from the fan and uh, I'm just suppressing them so it's using so much CPU so that's fine uh, we'll say over here uh, what is that ash password and you're gonna say sign in and we are this we are this in this home page right now if you try to visit home page sign up page and there is a loader and then we'll back to the home page very nice right same will do for the login right so we'll go to the login page index.js and just simply copy this stuff whatever we have and yeah so let's sorry not cut copy and let's remove this debugger not required anymore save let's go to the login and here we're gonna say and also we need to import that loader copy and here we are how slow it is okay so fine let's paste over here okay now let's try to visit login page and so you can see this loader okay now we are in our home page so it's working fine let's do the logout now we can visit sign up sign in very easily so it's working absolutely fine thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe in the next video we'll add lots of news right so we'll create the news for that we'll create the form and then we'll add the news Thank you for watching.